Hi guys, it's Tammy from Fuji Arts. Welcome. Um, I wanted, I'm sitting in the soap room right now. You see my bulletin board and all that good stuff. I wanted to apologize for the last video. Uh, it was so bad, the lighting was bad, and apparently I had soaping oils had gotten on the, um, the view, the viewfinder or, or the lens or whatever you call it. I had no clue that they were so bad, that it was such a bad picture. So I wanted to go over a few soaps and, um, show them to you where you can actually see what they look like. Um, first of all, I've made some new batches of soaps. This came out fresh this morning. That is, this is our honey, oats, and yogurt soap. It's so clean, and it's moisturizing. See, isn't that cool? Let's just see the differences in each bar. And it, um, this will be ready in about uh, a couple of weeks. Uh, I do have a little left, and I also have some at stores. So, you can also get it on Etsy. But this is just one that I had made this morning. Well, I made it last night, and I cut it this morning. Um, that's that one. This one I made last night and cut this morning. This is um, basil, sage, and mint. Isn't that just pretty? Look at that. And I'm not one much for green, but I really do like that. And it smells like basil, sage, and mint. It's a very um, organic smelling uh, green smell, I guess, if you will. Very nice, very nice. And this one, I think I've got oatmeal on it. <laughs> this is my charcoal soap. Charcoal soap, it, what it does is it pulls impurities from the skin. So if you've got like little zits or bad big zits or, or uh, bad acne on the face or the body or the arms, you can use this. When you wash your face with this, leave it on for about 30 seconds. Let that let that uh, charcoal have time to get in there and pull all that bad stuff out. Now, when you start using this the first week or so, you may notice that you break out just a little bit more. Now, not a lot, but just a little. And the reason for that is it's pulling the impurities that are deep down in your skin out to the surface. Hang with it. Keep using it, and I guarantee you, you will have clearer, healthier skin. It's wonderful. I mean, I, I use this. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Um, another soap that we have, what is the name of this one? I have to look. Dragon Fruit and Papaya. Yeah, isn't that, that's a pretty one, too. Uh, it smells like dragon fruit. It's a sweet smell. It's fruity. Real good. Real good one. This one, uh, this is Green Irish. Ah, yes, Green Irish, or Irish Green, I think. It's Irish Green. My, I'm not up on my um, Irish. I do well to speak English, okay? I have my days. But anyway, it's a pretty soap, and it's a clean smell. Um, it's It smells like the spring of the Irish, but no, it doesn't smell like that soap at all. But it does have that nice clean, you know you're going to feel clean and look clean and smell clean when you use this. It's great. This one, this is the one I had trouble naming, and I come up with a name. It is called Monkey Love. Oh, don't you know somebody you love so much? It's just Monkey Love. Somebody you just, Monkey Love. <laughs> This, what this is, it's, it's a fruity, citrusy smell. Uh, you can smell the grapefruit and the sweetness of maybe banana, but not fake banana, real banana. Um, this is just a smell you need to really just search out and find. Um, I don't have this in stores yet. Uh, it's still a little soft, so it's got to, you know, whatever. Um, I am going to put it on the Etsy store today, so you will be able to order it. Um, but I will send you a note that it is not ready at this time. It'll be a couple of weeks. Or maybe just a week. 
with all this rain we're getting in this crazy weather i talked to my mom this morning and she said they've got winter storm watches out for the area what the heck mm. this one is cinnamon it's called cinnamon stick and it smells exactly like what it is a cinnamon stick and if you'll notice on the top i've got real cinnamon stick stuck down there now before you use this soap the idea would be to take the cinnamon sticks out you don't want them getting into your plumbing into your pipes that could really cause a mess this is just decoration for the top but other than that mm, cinnamon it it's uh, just cinnamon scent all right what do we got now oh we've got a good old favorite right here remember this this is crush those of you that like Crush, we've got a few more of these left. They smell so clean. Oh, they smell so good. But I don't know. I don't know how to describe this one. It's just like your first Crush. Do you remember your first Crush? Hmm? Let's see. Now this one, I'm, I'm beginning to get concerned with my Apple Mango Tango. Every now and again, every rare now and again, I have a soap that does not want to cure properly. It, it's like it doesn't set up or it doesn't uh, want to form correctly. Uh, this is so, I think I may have got a, a little bit more super fat in it than I meant to. Um, super fat is the oil that the lye does not turn into soap. So that means this is really, it's still sort of oily. So, I don't know. I'm going to give it a few more weeks and uh, see what happens. And I may be remaking this one completely. But I really hope that it works. This is Apple Mango Tango. Isn't that pretty? Look at this side. So, let's cross our fingers that this one sets up right. In about a week or so, um... In about a week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one. I try all my soaps before I sell them, just to be sure they lather, to be sure they're okay. Um, I know this doesn't have too much lye in it. I did a zap test, nothing. <laughs> That's how you check to see if your, your soap has too much lye in it. If it feels like you've touched your tongue to an 8-volt battery, well, then it's got too much lye in it. But this doesn't. No, not at all. Ugh. Don't do that at home. Ugh. Don't eat the soaps. Don't eat the soaps. <laughs> We've got this one, which I might take this off so you can see. This one is Camu Camu. Now, this one's very unique looking. It reminds me of some kind of animal or something. I don't know. Here's the other side. It does have a little glitter on top. Can you see that? Um, Camu Camu is actually a red, wild red berry from the Amazon jungle. And I, why did I make it this color? Because I wanted to. So Camu Camu is this color. <laughs> this is slightly fruity with a tart smell. And once again, really clean. I tend to be drawn to the cleaner fragrances, especially with soap. You know, most people don't want perfumey woo, smells. Some do, and that's okay. But uh, this is a um, this is a clean, tart berry type smell, and it uh, smells wonderful. I think this really does smell good. And has a great scent. It stays pretty well, too. Um, this one. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. When did I cut this? I cut this the other night. This is the one we made. Nectarine Mint. Sometimes I just can't, I can't smell it and remember what it was. I've got so many over here. But this is Nectarine Mint. And it's another pretty pretty thing at your side got a little glittery glittery glitter going on top of there and um you can really smell the nectarine in this it's a 
and that mint, they go together so well. Nectarine mint. Then, this is about the only one that I have here, and this is not a full bar, so this is an end piece. But this is Fruity Tooty. This is the one we had the um, contest for, the contest. And um, we, we had a winner, and she said, call it Fruity Tooty, and that's what we called it. I thought it fit. It's a sort of cherry... It's cherry. It smells cherry, but you look at it and you think, huh, now that's just fruity tooty. <laughs> Not tooty fruity, but fruity tooty. Good one. I've got this out in all the stores right now and on Etsy. This one, I've only got one of these, and actually this one, the bar is actually a little, can you see that? It, it fell and I lost a corner. But... <laughs> This is the only one I've got here. I've got the rest in stores. This is called One Night Stand. Ah, yes. Everybody said, oh, it's peppermint. No, it's not peppermint. This is called One Night Stand. Why did I name it that? Well, it had to do with the name of the fragrance oil. And also, it's just a clean, fresh smell. I won't go any farther than that, but this is one night stand, and it don't get any cleaner than that. Um, this, oh, this is my roommate, Tammy's favorite. This one, of course, is soft denim. Oh. And what does it smell like? It smells like you take blue jeans directly out of the dryer, laid them on the sofa, and you stuck your face in them and smelled the fabric softener, the soft denim, that wonderful scent that, that you get. And this is exactly what this smells like. Hmm. Oh, gosh, it is good. I love that. And then, of course, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me get a drink. Mm, I drink, drink, drink. You think my, my thing's bigger enough? It's bigger in my head. That's hard to do. Water. I drink water all day long. I love my water. We have Blueberry Bang. Now, this is a, one that we've had a while. Uh, we've sold several of them, and we've remade, and this is what we got. Blueberry Bang. It smells, to me, exactly like a blueberry cheesecake. Now, the reason the coloring of this is so dark. Now, this up here is blue. But this, the reason it's so dark is because of its high content of a uh, chemical known as vanillin. And um, it will turn your soaps brown. Nothing wrong with it. It's wonderful. It smells great. It's got the best smell in the world. It smells like blueberry cheesecake. So if you like blueberries, you like cheesecake, bing, 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 bing. This is yours. It's called Blueberry Bang. Now, the novelty soaps. Let's do this one. This is called a Happy Cannabis Flower. Now this is just fragrance. It's fragrance oil. And it smells faintly like cannabis. It's clean. It's almost a little powdery. Does that make sense maybe? But it's got that scent. Man, I love it. I do. I love this. It is, um, the scent is so unique. Now, when you take a bath with it and you get ready to go to work, they're not going to pull you out for a drug test because of this. <laughs> I don't know if the dogs can smell this or not, but it doesn't, it doesn't stay on your skin that strong. It smells just like a flower scent. But you've got to go sniff these. You've got to go try these out. I don't think I've got any in my store, but they are on my Etsy store. I just can't go smelling it. I love it. This one and this one are my two favorites to take a bath with, along with the honey and oats. I like it too, oats and honey. But this is a good novelty if you want to just uh, somebody, you know, we all have that friend that likes their cannabis. <laughs> just saying. It's just a joke. It's, um, but it, it, it does smell good. I like it. I take a bath with it. I think it's cool. And for my really novel, novelty of soap, 
garden dirt. Oh, yes. And yes, I have taken a bath with this. And yes, it smells like garden dirt. <laughs> mm, I think I'm going to stick with taking a bath with this one. But, if you like the smell of garden dirt, it smells just like fresh potting soil. I mean, literally. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, my mouth's so dry. Literally, it smells like fresh potting soil. It's truly amazing. Um, I have this out in some stores, and of course I have it. I have all these on my Etsy store. Well, not all of them, but I'm, they're going to be put on there after this video. Uh, this is good for the hunter, the deer hunter. We all know those guys and girls, hey, that go two or three days without bathing before they go out to hunt their deer. You know, you can take a bath in this and it will cover up some of that human stench. <laughs> so, but and still you'll be clean. <laughs> but this is good for the hunters. It will cover up the human scent. So, dirt soap is good for that. It's a cute little gift for the gardener or the farmer or somebody that just loves to piddle in the dirt. It's great. It's fun. And you are clean when you get done with it. It's just a slight smell of soap. I mean, a slight smell of dirt. <laughs> now, all of my soaps, um, they have an awesome fragrance uh, when you take a bath with them. Um, it's, you can still wear your colognes. You can still wear your aftershaves, your perfumes, uh, your lotions. It's not going to interfere with all that. But if you get out, when you get out of the shower and you just smell, sniff your arm or something, your hand, you'll be able to smell a slight hint of it, okay? Um, it'll smell up your whole house when you're taking a shower. But it does not interfere with your perfumes or colognes. <coughs> <coughs> I haven't coughed all morning and I feel like there's something hung in the back of my throat. But all this soap is available on Fuji Arts. Uh, the website is fujiarts.com etsy.com and Fuji Arts is one word and it's spelled F-U-G-I dot no, see I, there I go again F-U-G-I-A-R-T-S dot E-T-S-Y dot com Fuji Arts dot Etsy dot com or you can go to Etsy and put in Fuji Arts look for the poodle and you'll find my store also, and I had to write these down because I always tend to miss, miss up something. If you'd like to buy my soaps and um, forego the shipping cost, uh, you can go to, if you're local, Ma's Deli, which is right up here on Highway 68. I'm, I sell my soaps there. I also have some soaps in uh, 68 Tractor Parts. Now, it's connected onto the deli. So, you can go up there and they can hook you up with some soaps. Also, the Hair Shack at Edmonton. My cousin Hannah is now working there, and my cousin Kay owns it. Along with the other ladies there, y'all are great. Uh, go in. You, can, you don't have to go in to get a haircut, but when you need one, why don't you try them out? You can go in there and uh, pick up some soap. Also, I have my soap at the Country Closet. That's at Knoblick. That's right on the corner of um, Alon Road and uh, 70. You know where that's at, in an oblique. Primitive Blessings, which is up above from the Lighthouse Restaurant. They are usually open on the weekends. And um, I think sometimes on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Go check them out. They've got all kinds of cute little primitive things and, and um, keepsakes. You know, plus my soap. And also, you can go right out here. Uh, hop, skip, and a jump from my house to Highway 68 Roadside Cafe. Um, Michelle and uh, all of them out there can hook you up with one of the best burgers in the world. And it's called the Queenie Burger. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Named after me. Queenie. So go out there, pick up some soap. She may have a bath bomb or two. I'm not sure. I don't do too many bath bombs, but but Ma's Deli, 68 Tractor Parts, The Hair Shack, The Country Closet, 
Primitive Blessings and Highway 68 Roadside Cafe. And don't forget Etsy. F-U-G-I-A-R-T-S dot Etsy dot com. Well, I've made this a little over 20 minutes. I don't know how I manage that. Usually my mouth just wants to go. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but God bless. Thank you. Enjoy. And I will see you soon.